right? So you okay. should basically go from one input immediately into the next. If not, at like the same, there you go. Oh. Wow, she might be the quickest learning student that I have ever had. Today, I'm coaching a fairly new Apex player who's never played FPS games before, and Apex is actually the first one that she's ever got to play. But even though they're still really new to the game, everything that I was putting down, she was picking up with ease. I walked her through some movement techniques that 99% of the players don't normally use, which she was able to master almost instantly. We also did some 1v1s so that I could see how she takes her gunfights as of right now and show her the proper way that she's going to need to be playing if she wants to start winning more consistently. And after all that, we took everything that we just learned and hopped into some duos where we played many endgame finals and even took back-to-back -back wins to prove to the lobby that even brand new players can win games. I really like to work on moving in and out of fights, backing up when you take damage and pushing up on damage, but I'm still kind of struggling with that, if that makes sense. When you're cap strafing, what we want to do is we want to hit either A or D, depending on what direction. And something okay. else that's super important is making sure that we let go of the W key when we're in the air. So we're going to okay. run, slide, jump, and then we're hitting or letting go of W and we're either hitting A or D while turning into that direction. Okay. So you said it's run. There you go. Nice. Okay. You see how much more aggressive that is? Now, since you're kind of new to movement, do you know what super jumping it? No. As you're hitting E, you're preparing mm -hmm. to hit scroll, right? So you okay. should basically go from one input immediately into the next. If not, at like the same, there you go. If not at the oh. exact same time. Now, I want to go over another wall jump with you since you are mm -hmm. learning wall jumps. Now, I'm assuming that you learned this wall jump, right? Where you slide jump into the wall. Yeah. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover fatigue wall jumps. A fatigue wall jump is, you know, it's basically a regular wall jump, but a, instead of a slide jump into the wall, we're using a fatigue jump into the wall. All a wall jump is, is something that's going to bring you into a mantle. And then once we're mantled, we're jumping off of the wall. What most people call a regular wall jump is a slide jump into a mantle. Then there's a wall push where we just jump at the wall and push back. What you'll notice with this is that it doesn't pop you up into the air, right? What it does is it pushes you back and into the ground. So to really okay. capitalize off that, we're going to jump and crouch, and that will throw you back quickly into a slide. So we actually, and this is the same thing with slide jumping and all the other different kinds of wall jumps. We want to make sure that we jump about two to three feet, if not five, away from the wall so that you mantle like that exactly now do the same thing but crouch after you've popped off the wall perfect oh. what you can do is you hear them and you push back really quick so their push to you is actually going to be counterintuitive it's actually going to punish them because they don't know that you're about okay. to make a play on them the next one that we're going to talk about is called the fatigue wall jump all the fatigue wall jump is is we're replacing the slide jump mantle with a jump jump forward mantle so this is what's important to understand a regular jump i go full height but if i jump too soon to a regular jump i'll get this like half jump and notice how it kind of like lasts even though i'm not spam jumping like you are notice how the like the fatigue kind of stays on me this whole time what we're gonna do is we want to enter the wall or enter the mantle while we're fatigued so we're going to jump to fatigue ourselves, jump to mantle, and then jump off. Nice. Now we're going to do the one that keeps you against the wall. All we're going to do here is we're just going to hold W while we're like jumping off the wall. So before we let go of W, like we tapped it to enter the mantle and then we jumped off. Now what mm -hmm. we're going to do is we're going to jump, jump, oh, jump, jump forward. And when we jump again, we're going to keep holding W Right, and that's gonna keep us right against the wall. It's gonna push all of the momentum forward. Nice. Whenever you hit the ground, you're still fatigued. So you can chain these back and forth. What that looks like is this. And then you can just push through. Was that the pull your gun out and slide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, forward, slide, jump. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is these first couple rounds, I'm just going to be assessing how you peak, push, back up, um, just how you take fights in general. From there, 
after a couple of rounds and I've really kind of like analyzed what you're doing right and wrong, we'll start breaking it down and talking about things. So again, these first couple of rounds, not really going to say anything. I'm going to play really weird, aggressively, defensively, passively. I'm going to hide from you. I'm going to jump on you for no reason. So don't don't okay. take it any specific way. I'm just seeing how you play off of what's been given to you. There's a couple things that you actually do right, which I'm actually really surprised to see. There's a couple things that you're doing wrong, which I'm not surprised to see. Things that you're doing right is you are noticing that you're in the open and you're actually prioritizing getting to cover rather than fighting. That's perfect. What a lot of people will do, especially people who are like lower skill levels or um, lower like ranks, is they'll find themselves in the open. Like let's just say they jump out find themselves oh i'm in a gunfight and i'm in the open there's no cover for me to get to and they just stay here and they fight until either someone dies or until they have to reload and then they run away reload what you do is you go oh shit i'm in the open bolster your gun and the first thing you do is get the cover that is awesome what i'm noticing that you're doing wrong is how far you come off of your cover every time that you go i don't want to like okay. kill your ego or you know diminish anything that you're doing right but i'm playing no aim assist and i'm hip firing every single shot. Mm -hmm. So that's just to kind of like put into perspective how inaccurate I am, but how much damage I'm doing to you. The reason okay. why is because you come so far out of your cover that even with no assist on anything that I'm doing, you're so exposed that there's nothing that's gonna keep you from taking damage, even from someone who doesn't know how to aim, right? Okay. So if you are playing really tight to the cover, as soon as you start getting shot, you're safe instantly. Right? But okay. the way that you're playing is you're coming all the way out here. So now when you want to come back in, you're getting damaged, you're getting hit the whole entire time. Okay. So I'm going to shoot you with like my car, right? This is the amount of damage that you can take on the way back in, let a, like not even including the damage you're going to take on the way out. So if I'm here, I'm going to strafe and come back in. Imagine every single time you get, you like you come off your cover, you get hit for 100 coming out and you get hit for 150 coming back in. You're going to die every single time. I'm not going to want to fight you. You need to be engaged and you need to come and see where you hear me and where you know that I am. I have to reload. But now what you're doing is you're looking for that opening to be pushing up. I don't want to fight you because you're hurting me. I'm going to back away from you. I'm going to disengage. And now the opportunity has worn off, right? It's now a full mm -hmm. reset. So now we can't just re-push. There's no a new opportunity to push. So now we need to create that new opportunity now that the fight's been reset while you're running around just practice your mechanics practice your wall jumps practice those instant slides practice your tap strafes right you're coming around a corner cool get a tap strafe get comfortable doing all these different mechanics even though you're not going to do them well so let's climb up to the height before we engage now that we're on a power spot we can easily focus wherever we want more treasure for me last members down one spot right. closer to winning new Fight shield on one. They're forced to move out. Watch them move here. All right, last one right here. We can do damage and drop. There's the break. Now we can drop on them. So something that we can do with nades too, right? A lot of people, what they do is they throw nades on top of people. The issue with that is if you throw a nade on someone, they can step off of it. Notice how I threw my nades right here on the far right. Mm -hmm. If I throw them right there, they're, they're more than likely not going to run past the nade. Instead, what they're going to do is they're going to run away from the nade. Oh, right above me. What the f***? You see how that drops super fast? I don't know if you saw that. That's a lifeline. Well, I just saw someone, man like, there's someone literally right here. And there's someone crafting, so this might be two teams. Someone just climbed this wall into estates. Guy above us. There's one up there. So we're not going to walk into the middle. We're going to walk up here. Catch this guy. Gun down, so we run fast. Pop this back. You're being aimed at. I'm being aimed at now. Hit this. Care package over there. Team right here. So we're gonna land. Uh, where are they fighting? Uh, oh, oh, land on I... this roof here. Land on this roof here. This team's inside here. 
We're gonna damage and then we're gonna engage off of our damage. Oh, I just got I just got beamed from behind. I think they have another team looking at them. So all you're gonna do right now is you're gonna pop um one cell. And then we're walking back into this breaker in the open. So now we're moving up. This guy over here is one HP. New kill leader. Watch for them. One minute. Ring's pretty close. That was the last one. Nice work. We haven't won yet. Better finish off those last two squads. Recharging my shields. Recharging my shields. Audio in this direction. Let's engage this direction. I didn't even hear that guy. So, do you need batteries? Because, um... Oh! I have an evac. Come back here. We need to do this fast, though. Because this storm hurts a lot. They're breaking it. Get on, get on. Oh, fuck. I didn't see you on the... Follow me. They're far away, so what we're doing is we're landing here. All right, and then you're healing, okay? Okay. Start healing, and then you're looking at them right away. Heal. Nice. And then get ready to look at this team. They're going to be running through the open towards us right here on ping. He doesn't know that I'm here. So I'm going to let him get a little bit closer. Right, so actually disengage a little bit, right? Like, like be passive. Let them walk forward a little bit. Oh. Good, you're good. You know what? Actually, they won't even they're see me if crouching. I do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has no idea. Hold on. Yeah, just keep playing the way that you are. I'm getting this really crazy angle on him. Almost broke one. On Let's make sure that we're looking to be shooting. Doing damage. Right here on ping. Right here on ping. Shit on, shit on, shit on, shit on, shit on. Advance, advance, advance. Damage is being put in. We're moving up. On ping. Right here, 25 purple. 50 on him. Advance, advance, advance. He's going to hide from you. You need to engage him. 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 HP. Got him. Just remember, right? When people are getting shot, do they want to look at you or do they want to hide? They want to hide. They want to hide, which means it's a clear opportunity to do what? To push up. Push up, exactly. So if okay. I'm calling out damage, right? If I'm holding someone in cover because they're taking damage, you aren't going to... Yeah, you need to be looking. Before we hop into this next game, this video was made possible because of Apex Gaming PCs. With their custom PC, I was able to switch from playing Xbox to PC where the game feels 100 times smoother. Apex literally feels like a completely different game when you make the switch. And it's really helped me unlock a lot of new skills in my aiming and in my movement. As well, because of Apex Gaming PCs, I'm able to continuously stream, record, edit, and play Apex without any issues, helping me make these weekly videos for you guys. Guys. If you've ever thought about making the switch to PC, make sure to check out the link in the description down below and save up to $250 on your custom build using my code DISTRICT. Now let's get into this next win. They're crafting on ping. Ten seconds to the ring. They won't let me ping. There. Let's move off of these nades. Broke one. Shit on everyone here. Move up off that damage I'm putting in. More people coming. We need to back off and reset. We're not ready for this gunfight. So let's create some space. He's right. She's right here. And it's a uh, Valkyrie. So no one... Why is my gun not? You finished me. Enemy down. Need to recharge my shields. Oh. 
want to see if I can re-knock. Some space. Be engaged. I'm gonna move up it's through the open. I didn't get as much damage as I wanted to, so I'm gonna back off, create some space. Now, when they wanna push, I'll have this buffer between me and them that I can use. That. Doesn't know. Need to recharge I play here, he can't easily come to me. Force him to come to me. He's kind of pinched down, put some pressure here. Force him in the open. Oh, so that's what you mean by like when you're shooting at the angle, so even though you weren't hitting, like, they can't move. Because if they start to move, they're just gonna get beat by you. Exactly. I'm gonna make sure that I'm engaging here. Capitalizing off the fact that they're not looking at me, they're looking at each other. They have one knock. It's a it's a now a 1v1. So as soon as they finish, they're going to instantly go for the reses, which means that I want to make sure that I'm looking to start putting some pressure here. Shit on everyone! It's my bad. What did I try anyways? Listen for the audio. I'm gonna s here, take my shield that's in there and then pop that uh, that battery. So now there's a Horizon who has a knocked teammate up. That Horizon is somewhere around here. Maybe. Was that you sliding? I'm gonna drop drop because I need oh I can't drop drop. Do you have any oh heavy? I have no heavy. There's an R301 that's stacked. Purple barrel, purple mag, uh, 300 light ammo. That has my name written all over it. Did you mean to just do a low quip or was that like no. intentional? <laughs> that's literally that's literally what she does whenever you ping someone or whenever you ping a, an item and then as Loba, you like say that like you dibs it. She goes, "That has my name all over it." Right here on pain. All right, so this guy doesn't know that we're coming for him. Now he does. He's looking right at me. Aiming right at you. Oh fuck! Huh? Well, not looking at you. Make sure that you're staying healthy. A hundred on this lifeline, so that lifeline's gonna want to back off, heal, make sure you're healthy. I don't want you to get knocked. I want you to make sure that you can always be putting in damage because you're 70 on one. If I'm calling out damage, they gotta look away, we gotta push up. Oh, uh, wait, why did I get shot? Oh, I got shot from over there. I broke an Squads down. We made the right choice. Yeah, I got people are coming from um, across the way. Reloading. Oh, yep, there she is. Getting shot at. New shield. Open it. Open the door. Reloading. Open the door. Open it. Open it. 
god! Oh. Right me. That's one. Oh. Rate this one HP. So if rate this one, if rate this one, then this horizon here is a solo. Okay, now we can heal. Pardon me. The Wraith over here is one shot. So this is two teams. Careful. One more on this team here. One more. All right, there's one more behind you. Get the pressure on here. Get team in our back, team in our back, team in our back. Go back the way that we came. Oh. I don't know if you can. I'm gonna try. Oh, no, they didn't get the brace off fast enough. He just got knocked. Uh, his buddy's right make, here. make sure that you stay alive here, okay? on my left. I want to see if I can control this right side. Remember, right? Always being engaged is key. If you're not engaged, people walk up. Hey guys, District here. If you enjoyed that video and you want to learn more, consider checking out the other edited and full coaching sessions here on my channel. And if you want to get coaching yourself, check out the website and book a coaching session with me. If you have a friend, make sure to bring them along also to save up to 20% off. We have tons of budget and high-end options starting at $8, so make sure you check it out. There's definitely going to be something there for you. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next one.